Here's our next possum dinner. She's got, of course, some squirms with garden vegetables and apple pumpkin. Garden vegetables is a blend of peas, carrots, and spinach. And believe it or not, it is one of her favorites. Now, lately, she has not been very into eating her squirms, but she's been eating much more of her fruits and vegetables. Today, though, does actually look like a squirm's day. But she is really going for those. And her little legger is hopefully healing well. She is on antibiotics and is having it cleaned several times a day. Notice that she's still not really putting any weight on it. And it really seems to vary. Each time I come up, it's like, it looks... And sometimes it looks really good. Other times there's a bit of, of redness. But I've been flushing it and keeping it very, very clean for her. And she's not going for the apple pumpkin as much as I thought she would. I thought that would be a real favorite. But she's only had that a couple of times. And sometimes when something is new... Um, you know, it takes her a little while to get used to it. It's one reason she likes the garden vegetables a lot, because it's a common one. It's one of the first ones that I ever gave her, and so it became one of her, her favorite familiar foods. There are more squirms in there, Chi. Here, let me move them for you so that you know that they're there. I think sometimes they, their smell is disguised when they're kind of buried in there. All right, here are your remaining squirms. Go on. I only gave her five today because she hasn't been eating them a whole lot lately. Sometimes she ignores them completely for the fruits and vegetables. And then I hate when I get them out and then put them in the, the food and then she doesn't eat them. So I um, haven't been doing it. Plus, this evening she actually came out and ate some of her dry cat food. And she had also some sweet potatoes and corn that I had out here. So um, she has already had a bit of a meal. This is so uh, a bigger meal for her to have. A little possum. Now I want to make sure you see this apple pumpkin because, I mean, that's really good stuff. It's really good stuff. Do you see that? This apple pumpkin tree. I shouldn't say see. Of course, for you, it would be, do you smell them? Yes, I know, because your sniffer is very good, but your eyes, not so much. Go on, you little possum face. You're looking for more squirms. Well, I guess if it's a squirms kind of day, I can get you a few more. <laughs> and here I have given her some more squirms. Since she really seems to want them today. And this has been the most ingenious way of getting her to eat vegetables and fruits. Someone suggested it essentially on a, uh, a possum nutrition forum. They did not suggest it with squirms, though. They thought that she would, uh, would eat more civilized foods. Um, but they did suggest trying to give her baby food. But then I thought, 
Well, once I happened to feed her night crawlers, and she was really into them. And I thought, wow, I bet I could put those in the baby food, and then she would get used to those tastes on the squirms that she can hardly resist. And actually, that that proved to be the best idea ever, because until then, I mean, she would hardly eat any of the things that I gave her, even the same foods that she was used to from the rehab facility where she lived. And I was really pretty stressed out about it, of course. And now she's become a very good eater. So she usually cleans her plate, if not right away. She comes back in the middle of the night and finishes it off. And she's eating a huge variety of vegetables and fruits. And as far as animal protein goes, this is pretty much the only thing that she does like. I haven't been able to get her to eat other things like, uh, you know, chicken or fish or egg or yogurt, any of those kinds of things. She was eating chicken livers for a while, um, and I suppose she probably would eat them again, but for a while she got really finicky and would only eat them, so I sort of moved onto the night crawlers because I could hide them better in other foods and, and give her a variety. Oh, you really want more? Oh my gosh. Yes, well, you did have ten. And she used to, when she first started eating, she was so excited to eat that she would eat like eighteen in a single sitting. And I think she probably would have got eaten more, but I always got them in packs of eighteen back then. That was before, <clears throat> before I was buying them in bulk. So, yes, Chi, you're a good eater. You're a good eater. But I want you to eat some of those vegetables today, like the apple pumpkin. You've got to eat that. It's so good. It is so good. And when she's done eating, she moves away. And uh, then she will come back in the middle of the night, especially I leave her food near her water dish at the entrance to her den. This is her, this is her possum den here. And she does really like it. I never actually close the crate. It's just um, a great way to kind of give her that, that feeling of safety. I put the blankets up over there and it kind of feels like a little, little um, possum hollow or something. Then she also has, of course, her carrier. She hasn't been using it as much lately, but sometimes she still does. And um, she used to sleep in there during the day, and then she, well, during the day, what's day for her? During the, <laughs> it's so confusing because she's nocturnal, but she mostly would sleep in here, and then while she was up during her active period, she would, like, nap in there. Yes, the life of a possum involves much napping. All right, Chi, well, you have left the camera, so uh, I will stop filming for now and hopefully you come back and eat your apple pumpkin later.